bike build. I'm really, really pumped on this. And it's a bike build that I had to do while not working at a shop and getting those types of discounts. And I'm really, really pumped on it. So I ended up getting the uh, 27.5 Specialized Stump Jumper S-Works frame from 2020 from uh, the Pro's Closet, which was my first purchase from them. Now we'll just walk through the different components. So the fork is gonna be the Duralux by SR Sun Tour. Uh, it's been a bomb proof fork. I really, really love it. It's been great for me. It's simple design, really easy adjustments. If it's good enough for a guy like Mark Matthews, it's definitely good enough for a guy like me. <laughs> and it's been great. I have adjustable travel on it. So I can do 150, 160, or 170. I got it right in the middle, 160. And it seems to be just great. So I got 160 in the front, 150 on the rear with the Fox DPX2 rear shock. Seems fine. Uh, drivetrain on this is just the GX, came as a kit, so I got the 170 crank arms and a decent range on the back. Uh, 12 speed, been really good, really reliable, can't complain too much about that. Um, pedals on this are the Crank Brother Mallets. Uh, I really like the Crank Brother Mallets because they have that big platform, they still got the grips on, it feels like a flat, but does lock my feet in which I prefer because <laughs> um, I just don't feel confident enough to do flats, but I should do them more. Uh, they've been great. I don't think it's the high end or the low end, but the Crank Brothers is just bang right in the middle. And yeah, they've been really, really good. Brakes on this guy are the uh, Shimano Saints, which is awesome. It's my first upgrade from a two piston brake system to a four piston brake system. And while it is amazing in so many ways that everybody talks about, they're more consistent and more powerful still modulated um, i do find they are really grabby but that has turned me into a little bit of a better and more confident rider because it's put it's it gets me braking later into turns it stops me from hovering and feathering on the brakes um, so i'm just going faster i find that when i'm going down trails that i've done before um, i'm getting much faster times just because i'm braking later into the turn because I have that confidence that I'm going to have the stopping power. Even out here at Cumberland, we have a really long descent out here from the very top to the bottom. And near the bottom, you're getting tired, your legs are tired, your lungs are tired, even your hands are a little tired. It's nice to know that I'm going to have that consistent braking power at the top and at the very bottom. So I'm not worried when I'm hitting different features or braking later. So I'm not slowing down as much on the trail which keeps my momentum, gets me rolling over things better, and I just find the bigger brakes have helped me so much. And plus, I'm a bigger rider too. <laughs> You're pushing 200 pounds here at six foot, and uh, it's just nice to have that confidence. Uh, rotors on it with the Saints are 180, 180. Um, I could go bigger, that's an easy upgrade later, but I like the 180s because it's nice and flush to what the bike frame and the fork were designed for, so you don't have to have a little spacer on it. It's just a small little mechanic thing I like, is just having that nice clean look wherever you can. But if I ever needed more stopping power, it's a really easy upgrade to just get a bigger disc and a spacer for both the front and the back. But with the 180s and the four pistons, got plenty of stopping power. Uh, the wheels are gonna be the original We Are One Agent 27.5 wheels. Uh, I really like the 27.5 feel. Um, I've ridden 29ers, they just seem kind of big and monster trucky and I'm not good enough to really handle them the way I like handling these ones. So I'm really happy just to stick with the 27.5s for now. Last thing is the tires. So I've been running Michelins on this guy and I really like them. Uh, I got the Michelin Wild Enduro up front and I got the uh, Michelin Rocker 2s in the back. And yeah, they've been a really good tire set. I'm not a guy that tries out a ton of tires, so take that with a grain of salt, but they seem to have been really good. Uh, dropper post is the, I believe it's the 210 one-up components dropper. Uh, set to the full 210, I think, which gives me plenty of room to drop the saddle out of the way. And I really like it. I actually keep it up a little bit on the descents. I like having <laughs> this between the legs to kind of lean on my inner thigh there back and forth so the bike's not going too far either way so, but uh, having that option to go all the way down on the really steep stuff is primo uh, grips on it are the ergons thinking of switching next time because what i find is on these really hot days we've had out here on the island um, and the black color probably too and the fact that my hands heat up to a thousand degrees 
Um, they tend to get quite soft on the really hot days or if I'm sweating on them and everything. Right now they feel pretty good because I'm in the shade and took a break here. Then I have the cockpit's a one-up bar that's 800 wide, 35 mil rise. I really like it. I don't, I don't know about uh, the compliance factor and everything like that, but they feel good. Um, I really like the 800 wide and whatever the sweep is on it feels good. And yeah, that's the bike. Probably weighs in at probably 33, 34 pounds, I'm guessing. It's not crazy light, but it's also, yeah. So it's durable for like the downhills that I will be taking it to some parks in the August here, later in August. And then it's also good for like a race. I have a September off-road triathlon. This will be my race bike. <laughs> I'm not saying it's the fastest, but it's what I know and I'm excited to ride it for that too. So yeah, it's super pumped to have a stump jumper and yeah, looking forward to getting out riding it. Eww.